Atlanta United Fan TV, 5 0 win. And I mean, it's just something that we love to see, I think. You know, <laughs> haven't seen a lot of it this haven't season. Haven't seen a lot of it. And I think, you know, uh, being resolute, being ruthless in front of goal, first time we're, we've scored more than three goals this season. I think, uh, yeah, we much, much that's needed how, this. That's how it feels. Yeah, that we're right there. We're stoked. Yeah. yeah. I mean, well, of course, you, you score five goals, you, you play a team, you beat them, you're. You're yeah. exciting, you're dynamic going forward. Yeah. Obviously, everything's underlined by the fact that, that Albert Ellis got a red card in like the 10th or whatever minute if it was. It was really early on. I thought, personally, I kind of thought it thought it was a bit weak. I thought he could have yelled at him and told him to go on. But, I mean, he got in the ref's face. Hey, it's his own fault. It was stupid. I'm not going to complain because that, because of that. You know, Houston were never really able to test Atlanta defensively, which allowed Atlanta to really focus on their attack and work on some things, and they absolutely did that, and they deserved the victory. Yeah, indeed. Uh, and everybody trying to get it on the score sheet, uh, that's good to see. But uh, lots of link-up play, combo play. I mean, flicks, tricks. The midfield just finally was dynamic in a way that it hasn't been before. I think playing with a three-man midfield, whatever the combination of it is, is definitely the way ahead. And you, you saw them play with a back three tonight. That was nice. But again, I think against a team that if Ellis stays on the whole game, I think they probably score. Um, Parkey, you know, he did better being where he was in the back three, but he's still a liability defensively. And I still think that there's some issues back there in terms of getting beat on the counter. Mm -hmm. But, you know, offensively, you got something tonight that you haven't gotten a lot so far. And you get that from Eric Hyman for sure, um, but Nagby Emerson. as well. Um, Emerson Hyman, sorry. You get him and Eric Hermetti confused for a second. You see it from Eric Hermetti as well, though. That's why it's in my head is because now these players are allowed to run forward and run into the box. And Hermetti did that against St. Louis last week. You have had Hyman do it in both matches, and Nagby finally gets the goal that he's deserved. And that goal comes off of him and, and Emerson Hyman combining, moving forward, ball moving quickly through the middle of the park, attacking the box, laying it off to ground who has a fantastic ball and a great finish. Yep. And that happened multiple times tonight where you had the play going forward, and Heinemann always wants the ball. I mean, he he looks to be a really good signing for Atlanta United because going forward, he's always getting the ball, immediately laying it off and playing the next pass, trying to keep the, 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 the play quick and trying to keep it moving. And whenever he gets the ball, he moves and takes up an offensive position going forward. And that's not something we've had from a midfielder really ever, if you want to be honest, like a true out-and-out -out midfielder. Mm -hmm. And he gave Atlanta United a lot on the left-hand side as well in terms of width because he wants to get into those hacking positions. He wants to make those runs in. And I think if Atlanta can, can take that and keep doing that, mm -hmm. that will help them a lot in terms of goal scoring because they were having fun. They looked confident, and that's something you haven't really seen from this team. So in terms of going forward and attacking, it was fantastic. Got to do the same thing against D.C. Defensively, there's still going to be some question marks asked because of that red card and you weren't tested throughout the match. But yep. – High fives, 5-0. Joseph with a couple of really good goals. The second one, absolutely disrespectful. They need to build a statue for him sooner rather than later. I think there will definitely be one outside that stadium at some point in time. Yeah, and I think he's pretty much primed what his statue might look like I with him knee, kneeling down. Knee, I think that's a great statue. Originally, you know, him doing the whole mean mugging thing, but I yeah. think that knee is just like, it's growing on me. It's fantastic. Yeah. And then Gressel had a great goal at the end there as well. And then I think to top everything off, you see – Mo Adams signed what today, yesterday, shortly. He being announced on the today yeah. and came on and played today, which was incredible. And 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 he had a chance where he had a cutback that Joseph almost got to, and that would have been a great way to start his his career here at Atlanta United. But I mean, you can't forget though that that Atlanta only fielded five men on the bench, and three of them came on. So it's like that's wild. And and, and PT got a rest, which originally I was like ah, but then I thought about it. He's played well, and I think he'll start on Sunday. Mm -hmm. And I thought he needed the rest, but when he came on, he looked really bright. He was physical in a few in a few parts as well, where he was throwing his body into people, and I think that's important if you can add that to his game. So, you know, going forward, really bright, something to hold on to, something to build on, something that as fans I think we've desperately needed to see. And I had fun tonight. I think everyone who went to that game can say the same. And, yeah, I mean, that's what we want to see when we're going to Atlanta United matches. So hopefully more of the same. Three more points on Sunday. We need it. Yeah, absolutely do. Uh, I mean, it's going to be very, very tough against D.C., against LAFC. This is that type of match where we needed to put away a absolutely. team to, to get build that, that confidence, confidence. To get that confidence. And if you can do the same thing against a D.C. team that I think that you should be able to beat. They've had issues defensively. They they struggled with New England recently. I mean, this, Lucho Costa's kind of been absent. He's been, yeah. So it's, we'll see what happens, but you, you got to bring it into Sunday and you have to get three more points before that big road match against LAFC because that's going to be a big one and you need all the confidence in the world going into that one. But good start tonight, 5-0. Get that goal difference heading in the right direction, seeing the ball hit the back of the net. Can't ask for anything else. Atlanta! Atlanta!